anything that produces positive emotions, we run towards. So the problem is that most people are not fulfilled inside. So that's why they always need constant stimulation. You see, they need some sources of happiness. They don't, they're not their own source of happiness. Something else outside of themselves are their sources of happiness. Remember, when we, we, are, we are attracted to whatever makes us feel good, we are attracted to sources of positive emotions, right? So if you become your own source of positive emotions, which is to say, you feel happy despite the outcome, despite your life, despite what's going on, you become your own source of happiness because you created. It. It's not outside of your control. You control it. How do you do that? By becoming more present, practicing mindfulness, having a life, having a purpose, having a job that you love, having activities that you love, having something that if you know that everything will go wrong, you can go back to that one thing and it'll make you happy. That could be reading books. That could be meditating. It doesn't matter. As long as you could control it, and as long as it doesn't cost you financially or your, the relationships around you and it's something that you could do health, in a healthy way and you become, that's all good. But the point is that you, you don't want to have one source of happiness. You don't want the guy to be your own, only source of happiness because guys feel that and that's annoying as hell. So when a guy feels like, holy shit, like my girl, man, like she has, her, she has a good life. She does, she's not on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter all the time. In other words, you have a life. A life that has a purpose. You are passionate. What's gonna happen is that because you are, because you have your, because you're living on your purpose, you feel good about your life. All right, he's gonna feel like you're not as needy. Because when you are satisfied with your life, you you don't have there's no there's nothing in you that needs. You're so full, you're so happy that the only thing you could do is give. See what I'm saying? And this is not a technique. This is more of a way of living. And when you live like this, people are gonna feel. The abundance in your life they're gonna want to be around you because you have a positive aura as a result of the positive emotions that dwell inside of you because you don't look on the outside for the happiness you really have it in you you just express it see what i'm saying so the next one be polarizing show intensity on the, on the emotional spectrum in other words show happiness but also show sadness show excitement but also show anger one moment be warm and the next moment be cold don't just be one emotion kind of person. Just because you're a happy person doesn't mean you're always going to be happy. Just because you're a happy person doesn't mean you, you, don't, you don't show sadness. You see, so you have to be willing to not only embrace one side, of, one side of who you are, but also embrace the minimal parts of who you are. That could be evil. That could be the, 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 the inner bitch. You see what I'm saying? Don't just be a nice girl have a little hint of, of craziness to you. This is one girl, on my, she, she messaged me on Instagram. Uh, it was one of you guys, she, and she told me that she's, she's a mortician. You know, and, but then, she's a, she's a pretty, she looks like a very, you know, like a very nice mortician. Like she doesn't, she, her, her attitude, the way she comes across, is the total opposite of a mortician. So, have a part of you that's the total opposite, and just hint at it, all right? And that's gonna, and that's gonna give you that edginess to it. Because guys get bored because girls are just sometimes could just show one emotion are too nice are too bitchy you know you want to have that you, you want to be balanced you know having contrast qualities that counterbalance one one another are often found to be exciting and attractive you see so what you're very polite have a rude side to you you, you see you, you 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 are a bitch have a very nice side to you that you show often or once in a while the other one show vulnerability too many tactics may, may raise suspicion. So adding an element of vulnerability will disarm your target, which is the guy that you're talking to or your boyfriend. So if you have too many tactics, if you're doing these tactics and this is the first time you're doing it, you may come across as robotic or as calculated. You know, I could tell when a guy or when a girl is actually doing this intentionally and using these tactics on me, I could tell. Right, because they're, they're, it's too obvious. Right, you need to show some, you need to show some vulnerability so that you don't raise suspicion. So play the victim, okay? So play, I um, have, have, um, show because the thing is that when you play the victim, when you say, um, when you play the victim, sympathy turns into love. Now, now the, the victim could be in anything, in any realm. All right, feel sad about something in your life. Feel like you were a failure at this or that, and express to them how you're a failure at this, or that you feel so disappointing, or that you're shitty at this or that. Feel like you are the victim of circumstance and allow him to encourage you. And once he gives you that encouragement, embrace him, all right? Or, or having an artificial or real vulnerability that he feels that he can feel. You know, make him, make him the hero of your life. 
Okay, reveal to whom a secret, true or false, it doesn't matter. Reveal to whom a secret about you that you feel insecure about. Remember, it doesn't have to be real, all right? And so what's gonna happen is gonna be like, oh my God, like, she, she's telling me this. And the other one is, but he will also invest more by giving you a secret of his, because you know, um, it's, it's reciprocating. And so that's gonna give sympathy. And sympathy usually turns into love. You see what I'm saying? And also, if you really wanna turn up the volume, use tears. Now, a warning about tears. If a man doesn't react to your tears, it's done. Let me tell you something. Tears makes people react. If you cry and he looks at you stone cold, like you don't give a fuck, you fucked up somehow. Okay? You fucked up somehow. Only use it when your man is suspicious about your motives. Okay? Or when you're worried that he's losing interest. Alright, so, so just don't use it often. So, for example, um, when was it? When was the last time a girl cried? Um, okay, so I, it was it was like many, it was like two years again. I don't have girls crying to me that much, um, but I, but this girl that I was talking to, she she would visit from Florida and she sees me. She knows what this is. Um, she would visit from Florida and like before she was leaving, um, and she was she cried, you know. And I was like, oh, I'm not kidding. I was like, oh, like, I was like, oh, I'm so oh, come here. And you embrace them for that, and you, and it, not kidding, like it makes you, it makes you like it more. It really does. Like, oh, come here, and they're crying, but you can't use it often. You see, you can't use it often. You have to use it sparingly because it gets annoying. Trust me, it gets annoying. Um, and the more sympathy and lust, you see, like if you add an element of lust, of 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 of, of, of not just being a nice girl, but also having a bad side to you. You see, having that element of lust and sympathy. They'll make it'll add it'll, it there's a likelihood that they'll, they'll start loving you you see because you have the physical lust and the and the, and the sympathetic the emotion mixing those together it creates love you know it creates a good bond just keep in mind space is important because the number one killer of attraction is investing too much giving too much back the fuck off you gotta back off a little bit all right and once you back off a little bit once a guy feels like he can lose you once he guys feels like he, 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 you could get another guy, he's gonna know, damn, I'm not fucking up with this girl, you know? Please use this with caution, all right? A, a lot of my guy friends are telling me, why am I revealing this to girls? Because this was never my intention to teach this. And so I'm giving you guys a warning, don't be fucked up, man, because you guys could really, really mess, mess up a guy's mind, all right? And if you are gonna be fucked up, okay. But just, just do, do, use this with caution, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15. 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one would teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. 
and how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10 day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think that the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.